Washington and other European states are becoming parties to the war in Ukraine, Vyacheslav Volodin, the Speaker of Russia's Duma, the lower house of parliament, said on Telegram. All this will lead to the fact that our country will be forced to respond using more powerful and destructive weapons to protect its citizens, Volodin said according to him, Russia will consider the United States and its allies to be parties to the Ukraine war and Moscow will use more powerful weapons if the West allows Ukraine to use long-range weapons for strikes deep into Russia. Volodin said that the United States, Germany, France, and Britain were becoming parties to the conflict. All this will lead to the fact that our country will be forced to respond using more powerful and destructive weapons to protect its citizens, Volodin said. U.S. President Joe Biden said that his administration was working that out now when asked if the U.S. would lift restrictions on Ukraine's use of long-range weapons in the war. Sources told Reuters last week that the U.S. was close to an agreement to give Ukraine such weapons, but that Kiev would need to wait several months as the U.S. works through technical issues ahead of any shipment. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is increasing his pressure on the U.S. to allow Kiev to strike deeper into Russian territory. Zelensky recently appealed to the U.S., Great Britain, France and Germany, we need permits for long-range capabilities and for your long-range projectiles and missiles. Washington has provided Ukraine with military aid worth more than $50 billion from 2022, but limits the use of its weapons to operations on Ukrainian territory and defensive actions across the border. If the West wants to defeat Ukraine, it must allow it to carry out symmetrical strikes against military targets deep inside Russian territory, said French military expert and air defense consultant Xavier Teitelman in an interview with Ukrainform. He added that in parallel with the authorization of strikes, the delivery of the necessary number of long-range missiles should be carried out to have an effect on a strategic scale for the course of the war. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Thursday held bilateral meetings with Indian and Iranian representatives in St. Petersburg. Putin told the Indian Prime Minister's advisor on national security, Ajit Doval, and Iran's Secretary of the Supreme National Security Council, Ali Akbar Ahmadian, that he looks forward to meeting with the leaders of both countries at the BRICS summit in October. He also proposed separate bilateral talks with Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Iranian President Masood Pazeshkian on the sidelines the summit in Kazan. He was keen to brief you about his visit to Ukraine and his meeting with uh, uh, President Zelensky. And he wanted me to come specially and personally and brief you about the talks. The talk was in a very close format. It was only the two leaders. He had his two persons with him. I happened to be with the Prime Minister. So I was a witness to the meeting. So I attended that conversation. Сотрудничество с Россией остается приоритетом и для команды нового президента господина Масуда Шканьяни и ждем его в Казани. 
22-24 октября на саммит БРИКС. На, думаю, мы найдем время и для отдельной двухсторонней беседы. Так, мы будем рады видеть его в России и с полноценным визитом, в рамках которого подпишем новый большой межгосударственный договор, призванный закрепить выход российско-иранских отношений на уровень стратегического партнерства. روسیه تفاوتی با گذشته بالا خودش رو ندارم من باشون چندین بار با مکرر صحبت کردم بهشون قائل به همون حفظ و توسعه روابط هستند